Hello everyone, welcome to the video on a newly approved anti-COVID drug and this drug is approved for emergency use by DCGA and the drug name is 2-deoxy-D-glucose. In this video, I am going to explain about the approval process, who developed it, what all the clinical data suggests, how does it act and how it can be taken. This is my YouTube channel, if you like the video content, do subscribe. Let's get into the topic. Now DCGI means Drug Controller General of India. DCGI is responsible for all the drug approvals in India. Now it approved an anti-COVID drug developed by DRDO for emergency use. See nowadays all the drugs are approved by this process called as emergency use. In order to get approved any drug it has to go through clinical trials. They are known as phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Once the drug finishes all these trials then it will be approved to use in the market. Usually it takes 10 to 12 years. But nowadays because of the pandemic we don't have this much time 10 to 12 years of research. No, nowadays the pandemic is an emergency situation. In such kind the duration is reduced and it is approved for this emergency use. That is how this drug is approved. This 2-deoxyglucose. Now what it proposed is when it is given to the people who are affected with coronavirus it stops the coronavirus replication. This is what is the data claims. Now, who developed it? Now, it is developed by DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization Lab is this one, INMAS, Institute of Nuclear Medicine and Allied Sciences. Now, DRDO Lab is INMAS. This INMAS, in collaboration with Dr. Reddy Laboratories, it has developed this drug, 2-deoxy-D-glucose. In short form, it is known as 2-DG. Now, the, what the clinical trials data says? Now, the phase 3 clinical trials data was approved in November 2020. Last year, November itself, they, are, they were approved for phase 3 clinical trials. And the trials were conducted in 27 COVID hospitals across India. Now, what does the data shows? Data shows reduced dependence on oxygen among moderate cases of COVID-19, even in patients with age 65 and above. Now, three things are important. First one, Oxygen dependency is reduced. Now the major problem with coronavirus is it affects our lungs. When lungs are affected, oxygen saturation is reduced. And this is what causing hypoxia. Hypo means reduced amount, oxia means oxygen. And this is what is the major cause of death. This is what is damaging our lungs and people are dying. That is why we need to check for oxygen saturation level. When, when in phase 3 trials it is proven that it reduces dependence on oxygen. So when the oxygen levels are reduced, oxygen cylinders are used and that dependence is reduced by using this drug. Now the second thing, it works in moderate cases of COVID. Remember the second one is it works only for moderate cases, not for severe cases. Now the third important one is it is working in people aged with 65 and above. This is one of the advantages. So three things, first one it reduces oxygen dependence, second one it can be used for moderate cases, third one it is only for, P it, it is even effective in patients aged 65 and above. Now what is the other data says? Now in terms of improvement in vital signs of some symptomatic patients who are administered with this drug 2-deoxy-D-glucose, there is a difference of two end of days was seen compared to standard oxygen care. Let us understand this. When someone shows symptoms of COVID, they are admitted to hospitals. In the hospitals, they follow certain processes called standard of care. Administering a paracetamol, administering an antibiotic, giving oxygen uh, supplementation, all this thing is known as standard oxygen care. Along with that, when 2-deoxyglucose is given, it is known as adjuvant. Adjuvant means it is given along with the other treatment. It shows a two end of days improvement. That means if a patient is getting cured in 15 days by using this 2DG, the duration reduces to 12.5 days. There is an advantage of two end of days. Remember, Remdesivir has got four days of advantage in moderate cases, whereas in case of 2DG, it is two and a half days of moderate cases. Now, understand the data. Because COVID is so deadly in certain people, even one or two days of advantage, one or two days of recovery rate reduction is very advantageous. That is the reason why this drug is approved. So it shows a two and a half days, two and a half days of reduced recovery rate. Moving to the next one. Now see, this is what uh, the experimental data says. These are called petri dishes wherein the coronavirus 
is incubated. So this is what is coronavirus is. Now, so this is how the infection grows. When these petri dishes are given with this 2 deoxyglucose, you can see the reduced viral load. Very much it is reduced. And these are, this is what is carried out in labs. Now, in human cells, what it is shown is, see, the red cells are dying cells. In human cells, due to corona infection, most of the cells are dying. When This is with corona infection. When the corona infected cells are used with 2 deoxyglucose, look at this, the dead cell proportion is very much reduced. Look at this, all these things are dead cells and uh, there is a significant reduction in, in dead cells. So this is what is the data claims. Now, how does it act? Let us understand how does this act. Now, when you see the drug is 2 deoxy D glucose. So this is D glucose. Glucose is a very common thing which we regularly take as an energy supplement or whatever the carbohydrate we take in the form of food. The carbohydrate is converted to D glucose. D indicates it is a D isomer. We have L glucose is also there, but in human cells only D glucose works. When people become very weak, in hospitals, dextrose is admitted. A 5% dextrose is nothing but D-glucose. Now see, this drug 2-deoxyglucose is very similar to D-glucose. When you see the structures, the difference is only here. At second position, deoxy means removal of oxygen. Instead of OH, it is only H. Instead of OH, it is only H is there. That is what is known as 2-deoxyglucose. See, a very simple drug has shown a very prominent result. How? Let us see this. Now let us understand the right side part, now this part. Now there is a significance for glucose. Glucose gives instant energy. Why? It goes a process called as glycolysis. See in simple terms, glyc means glucose, lysis means breakdown. That means glucose is taken into the cells. It is broken down into pyruvate and in that process it releases ATP. ATP is the energy required for all the cells including viral cells. Now what happens is virus will be using this energy for it viral replication. In simple terms viral replication is nothing but virus multiplication. So when virus gets into the cell it uses this glucose produces this ATP and multiplies immediately. Now what happens with with this drug 2 deoxyglucose. Now 2 deoxyglucose also gets into the cell because it is very similar to glucose Instead of glycolysis, the 2-deoxyglucose glu gets into this pathway. Now what happens? Because there is a structural change is there, it inhibits glycolysis. This is what happens. When glycolysis is inhibited, ATP is not produced. When ATP is not produced, virus cannot multiply and multiplication is inhibited. So this is what happens in viral cell. This is what is the mechanism of action of 2-deoxy-D-glucose. In fact, this drug is used to treat cancer. Cancer cells also depend upon glycolysis for their energy production. They will continue to multiply. So when this drug is given, glycolysis is inhibited, cancer cells cannot multiply. The similar thing is used to treat coronavirus. Coronavirus also uses glycolysis. This glycolysis is what provides its energy and because of this energy, multiplication of virus cell occurs. So what are you doing by giving this drug? This glycolysis is inhibited. So multiplication is inhibited, so virus multiplication or replication, multiplying the viral particle is inhibited. This is how it acts. Now, now how it can be taken? This is also important one. See, the 2-DG, 2-deoxy-D-glucose drug comes in powder form in shacids. It has to be taken orally by dissolving in water. See, this is a very simple drug. You don't need to get into the hospital or get, get an injection. Injection. It just can be dissolved in shashets. But remember, this is for emergency use only. So emergency use drug should be taken under a medical supervision. People cannot directly take it. Because it is, it is not completely, the clinical trials are not completely done. It is only given for emergency use. Now what happens after taking this drug? It accumulates in the virus infected cell and prevents virus growth by stopping viral synthesis and energy production. As I told you, this is how it acts. It inhibits a pathway called glycolysis and that is what inhibits replication. Why? Glycolysis is the major pathway used by virus to get ATP. With ATP, proliferation or multiplication occurs. When you inhibit that, viral replication is inhibited. So this is how it acts. Now this is the advantage. It is easy to produce. You can see, we have seen it is a very simple molecule, easy to consume. It, 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 it comes in the form of a powder which can be taken by dissolving it in water. So this is what is the major thing with this 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe.